So, um, I thought maybe I could help via the support form. First things first, um, I made this video just so I can show you that I can see the issue and I've got a few suggestions for you. The one suggestion is, first of all, let me just go on to um, my website just to show you a thing or two. So the first thing, okay, you're going to see a lot of stuff on my site. It doesn't really matter. It's just a matter of um, what your problem might be. Uh, so, assuming you don't have server issues, the next thing you should check is, first of all, uh, when you're in your contact form, right? So, when you're in, let's say I'm on my contact us page for a second. Oops, so, let me just go to my contact us page for one second. So the first thing you should do, okay, is make sure I'm going to go to edit page just so you can see um, what you should check. I've got a recapture plugin. That's why you're not seeing the, the numbers, but um, it's the basic, uh, the basic idea still remains the same. Just give it a second to load. So what you need to do on your contact form for Divi is check a few things. The one thing is, The email, first of all, you can see my fields, name, email, message. So these are the fields I used down here. Remember, you have to actually write down the pattern. So this is going to say, you got an email from your website. The data submitted was the name, and then I'm using the field. You see, I put uh, this symbol here twice, then the field name, symbol twice again. This is all in the support uh, documentation. I'm not support, I'm just a user. I just thought I could help you. Uh, the next thing you should check, so you can pause this video, make sure that the email you have here is actually of the domain, which means yours should be something like info at, um, info at whatever your site is, uh, life for life student did whatever that is. All right. That's the one thing you can check. The next thing you can do is assuming you're not using a host because I, I don't know your host basically. So you have to make sure that your PHP mail function is working. There is a way to do this. Assuming that, that the fix that I just gave you doesn't work. You can install a plugin called, I'm just going to show you it real quick. I'm just going to install it so you can see what plugin it is. What is it? WP, SMTP, I think, where you can test if your function is working. So let me just WP mail SMTP, I think that's what it's called. Uh, I use this plugin when I have problems on websites that don't send uh, don't send emails. I don't need it on my server. I'm just installing it to show you right now. So. Um, Just real quick, wait for it to install, and then I'll show you how it works. <clears throat> so, just give me a sec. So assuming this uh, now exists here somewhere in settings, if I remember correctly, there it is. It says mail SMTP. And now you can test out if it's actually working. So basically what this allows you to check is if this uh, works. So I'm going to just use the default, which is SMTP. If you're using any of these services, you can switch to any of them, but it will test it will test if it's working. So you can just go here, email test. <coughs> and I'm going to send it to my, my uh, whatever it is, my personal email, just so you can see what it says. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to go into my email so you can see. I didn't have to use it because obviously my server works. I'm receiving emails anyway, so 
but here's the test email. Uh, it sent me an email that says that it works. So that will work. Now in your case, if you don't use the PHP function, first of all, um, you might need to change to something else. It depends on your server basically. But if your server was configured correctly, you should be able to send mail via PHP. If you're using a Google type mail gun send grid or whatever, other SMTP just means if you're using your provider, like in Cypress, there's a provider called Sitanet. So if I were using my Cypress provider instead of my server somewhere else, I would have to say something like mail out Sitanet. But obviously, this won't work because this actual domain isn't actually on my. Sita doesn't have, I don't think they have, I think they have a cell phone to think of it. Yeah. And I think the port is 25. I just changed a couple of the settings here. I'm not using this plugin anyway. So, And then you can add the authentication. If your uh, provider requires authentication, you can do the test just like I did before. When the test is successful here, it should also be successful on Divi. Remember that on Divi contact form, the email has to be of the same domain. That is all I can provide. That's about it. George is my name, by the way. My uh, my uh, name on the forums is Forest Pest, my username for Divi forms. So if you need anything, you can get in touch, I guess.